good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. In Western Armenia, an agriculture study was conducted at the proposed place of Noah's Ark. In the Artsakh city of Martuni, construction works of multi-apartment new quarter are underway on a large scale. There are about 15 captives in Azerbaijan and 18 more unofficial ones. The mausoleum of the Persians was discovered in the first time in one of Western Armenia. Interview with an ethnographic dance specialist Kagi Kinosyan. Birthday of the hero of Artsakh, the legendary commander Christopher Ivanian. The painting of St. John Church in Iran won the Vicky Loves Monuments 2020 competition. In the Dogubayazid province of Agra province of Western Armenia, according to the legend, geophysical measurements were carried out on the location of Noah's Ark. In 1959, in the general doctorate in cartography working on aerial images, the territory where the remains of Noah's Ark are supposedly located are outlined near the village of Tel Cheker on Mount Ararat. Every year, during the period of frequent visits by local and foreign tourists, studies are conducted on to clarify the size on land sites, their impact on the footprint, on the arc and the remains of the arc. In this context, geophysical measurements and studies are carried out by a team of five geophysical engineers, one computer operator, and ten people from different specialists. The field work is completed. The result of the study will be submitted in the regional administration. In the territory of the former hospital of the city of Martuni, the construction work of a new multi-apartment district are being carried out by Fairzid Construction Company. The director of the construction company, Artur Khachatrian, told Artsakh Press, We had already completed the construction process of the fifth floor of the first building. We are doing interior decoration works. We will finish the construction of the first building in the mid-March of 2022, and we will continue the construction of the second building. Four new five-story building with 116 apartments will be built. The buildings will be in line with modern standards. We will also build playgrounds and parking lots, said Khachatrian, and added that the construction of a new apartment district is planned to be completed in 2023. Azerbaijan confirmed the information about 50 Armenian captives. There is another unofficial information about 80 people. This was stated by the human rights activist representative of Armenia on the issue of the captives of European Court of Human Rights, Siranur Sahagyan, in an interview with journalists. According to her, the process of returning Armenian captives will be lengthy as long as there are confirmed captives. Speaking about the legal process related to those who returned from captivity, Sahagyan noted that public organizations about these are simply unacceptable. From a legal and moral point of view, I don't think there are any grounds for this. Their condition also does not justify arrest, especially since there are no risk of pressure on the investigation or attempts to escape. If they were hiding, they would simply turn to third countries, Sahagyan said. We want to remind you that with the mediation of the European Union, 10 more servicemen were transferred to Armenia on December 19. They were captured on November 16. A Persian mausoleum has been discovered for the first time in Artemet province of the Van province of Western Armenia. It appeared during rescue excavation in the Shabani quarter, which was preceded 10 months ago by illegal drilling of treasure hunters. The director of the Van Museum, Errol Uslu, said this in a connection with the opening. During the 10-day rescue excavations, we started in Van. A tomb of the Persian Empire was discovered, which did not leave a rich cultural heritage in the region. A similar tomb is found here for the first time. Bronze basilids, beads and seals were found on the bones in the grave. The seal symbol has has not been decrypted, but a seal is made of precious stone, known as lapis lazuli. On Western Armenia TV, let's get to know us as part of the program, ethnographic dance specialist Gagi Ginosyan presented the development of ethnographic dances in the pre-Christian and post-Christian periods. He talked about visits to Western Armenia, the process of collecting dances, meetings organized with local Armenians, etc. He touched upon the most important goal of presenting the Armenian identity, both in Western Armenia and throughout the world. It was about the role and importance of captives of war, the introduction of the military dances in the army and the need to their practical application. December 20 marks the 101st anniversary of the birthday of the hero of Artsakh, the legendary commander Christopher Ivanian. Lieutenant General Christopher Ivanian not only took part but also left a special mark in the great patriotic and Artsakh wars, having been awarded the highest state awards. For the exploits shown in the great patriotic war, Ivanian was awarded about 40 orders and medals. 
When the followers of fascists, the Azerbaijan invaders, attacked Artsakh, General Ivanian and his wife lived in St. Petersburg. He taught at one of the military academies and closely followed what was happening at home. In 1992, when the Armenian forces were engaged in heavy defense battles, a 72-year-old military man arrived in Armenia. He also was able to gain the trust of the soldiers and the commanders of the Artsakh self-defense forces very quickly. Everyone in Artsakh knew that if the military operations were planned and carried out by Commander Ivanian, that success was guaranteed. This is evidenced by the Battle Cross of the first degree of the Republic of Armenia of Artsakh and in 2000 posthumously the award of the Orders of Golden Eagle and the highest title of the Hero of Artsakh. He was the initiator and organizer of the creation of altered type training units in the Defense Army, as well as their training and material base. The Armenian Catholic Church in Northwestern Iran, also known as Sohreke Monastery, Sohrol, was built around the 5th century. In 1968, it was included in the National Heritage List. The church of the village of Sohrol has been reconstructed several times, including after the destruction as a result of earthquakes. Out of more than 230,000 applications for the 11th annual photo contest, Wiki Loves Monuments, 15 were elected. This is an annual international photo contest held by the Wikipedia. Participants take photos of historical buildings and landmarks and post photos on Wikipedia. The purpose of the photo contest is to draw attention to the architectural heritage of the participating countries. Now the musical part, Armenia folk dance, Janiman Janiman. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.